Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now on this one I'll be showing you how to update Havoc OS without like um, flashing stock ROM first. So we have an update here, 3.5, just came out yesterday or so. And if you scroll down here, it's the latest change log. And as you can see, since there is no update build fingerprint, that means we can just uh, dirty flash the update pretty much. So I'll show you how that's done. So what you want to do is just download the ROM and then put it somewhere in your phone. Then on your phone, since this tutorial is for if you're already on HavocOS, what you want to do is just go to advanced reboot and reboot to recovery. So this will reboot into TWRP. All right, so once you're in, we'll need to check which um, slot we're on, because I'm pretty sure when we flash this, it will flash to the opposite slot. So we're currently on slot B, so by the end of the tutorial, we should be back on B. We might have to flash twice. I'll see how it goes, sure. All right, so install and then where is it? Yeah, and then the Havoc OS 3.5, oops. Swipe that. All right, so once that's done, we'll click on wipe the cache. Then we'll go back and we'll reboot into recovery and see if we're still on uh, slot B. If we're not, I'm just gonna flash it again. Now it's fine, you can just work off the other slot, but I like to use slot B because it's the second one, so it's nicer. <laughs> You will need to, um, what you call it, install uh, Magisk after this as well. And if you're using the custom kernel, you'll need to flash that as well. So we'll see what's the story here. Yeah, so we're on slot A at the moment, which is fine. I'm just gonna install it again, so that way it'll be on both slots. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention, when you are downloading Havoc OS, um, get the version with the gaps, so this one here. This way we don't have to flash the gaps again since it's already built in. Or if you don't use Google, like the Play Store and all that kind of stuff, you can just use this, the first link there. All right, once that's done, wipe the cache again. And then we are going to reboot back into recovery and this time we should be back on my favorite slot so we can flash Magisk. All right nice we're back on B and then install and install latest magic Magisk. And I'll also flash the custom kernel as well, because why not? <laughs> All right, we'll go back and then the uh, kernel should be here somewhere. And the latest one, 2.6. All right, nice. We'll wipe the cache again and then we'll reboot system. And we should be booting into the updated version of Havoc. 
without like losing any data or anything like that. So that'll be great if it works. All right, so now we're back in. I'll just enter my pin here. And we'll see if we update it properly. So we scroll down here, about phone, um, here. Yeah, so there we go. Havoc 3.5 and the security patch 5th of May, which is not bad. And then we'll see if um, Magisk installed properly and if the safety net is passing. Yeah, safety net is passing. Now one more thing we can check is if the kernel installed properly as well. And well, you can't really see, but I'll tell you that it did. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty successful update. So yeah, that's that's it really very easy to update uh, custom ROMs when there's no like new stock ROM added and so on. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and bye bye.